A week of missteps and communication breakdowns pushed the vast nation of Niger toward Russia. Just another headache, Elizabeth, for this administration. Yeah, and I think, you know, it's also a blow to democracy around the world. You know, the region of West Africa was a burgeoning democracy um, hub in uh, the continent of Africa. And to see corruption and um, neglect of the people, you know, the people in Niger, um, even before this coup, have been suffering. There has been extreme poverty and um, uh a sense of injustice. And so I think that, you know, would, while this coup is extremely disturbing for the growth of democracy, also, you know, the, the failure, I think, to really shore up some of these West African democracies, and we're seeing this in, you know, there have been other coups in the region in the past few years. So it's, it's, it's heartening to see the West African um, regional forces say that they might intervene to put back into place the democratically elected president there. But it's certainly, I think, a cause for concern for uh, the people who are the most affected by this here in Niger and also in Ukraine and also for democracy.